And we'll get to our forecast in just a moment, but let's touch on Hurricane Dorian right now, as right now it is beginning to near the coast of the Carolinas, but it has not yet officially made landfall. You see, this is around where Charleston is here, Myrtle Beach is here, Wilmington is there, and all of that area is getting more and more intense winds from that eyewall approaching the, the coastline. Now, landfall officially happens when the center of the eye crosses the shore and makes landfall. So it's not yet there, but we've seen several streamers of actually tornadic thunderstorms rolling onto the Carolina coast. So I have a friend in New Bern who said that he's had a few tornado warnings already. Looking at the eye, though, it's getting very close to Oak Island, a very popular spot here. And so this is the most intense band of the hurricane as it nears there. They're likely getting some very strong winds right now. Hurricane warnings and uh, tropical storm warnings up for much of the area. Not on this map is the tornado watch that's out for all of eastern North Carolina. As it heads towards the northeast now, it's starting to encounter the North Carolina coast, which sticks out here. So these points here could all be places where landfall may occur. The winds right now are at 105 miles per hour along the eye wall. But at Friday around 2 a.m., that's where we're looking around the Beaufort area, possibly around Moorhead City, Emerald Isle, where we could be seeing that landfall actually take effect. And then the Outer Banks, of course, very vulnerable places there, could be seeing impacts later on tonight. It moves out to the open ocean where we can sound to a Category 1, but then Nova Scotia and New Newfoundland in uh, southeastern Canada here could be seeing near hurricane force winds there as well as we head into the weekend. So it won't be a hurricane then. It'll actually transition to a subtropical system, but it will be causing some major impacts for them. 